So we had 63 cars take time tonight. Earl Pearson Jr., brand new Knoxville Raceway late model track record here tonight. Again, he will start 12th. The top four finishers go to the A main here tonight. There'll be five the heats as Justin mentioned. And again, it's Junior Cooper in the tent on the outside. Kurt Schroeder out of Des Moines, Iowa on the pole. We are underway in Knoxville in heat number one for the late models. They're three wide and Pennsylvania's Matt Lux is gonna take the lead. And we got a car on its roof. It's Kurt Schroeder, I believe the 15C car. And Matt Furman involved here in the 51, the red is out. And Kurt Schroeder out of the car. Let's give him a big round of applause. And we'll check the University of Iowa graduate, Matt Furman. And he's moving around. He's got the steering wheel off, taking his gloves off. 12 laps. I give the top four. Go to the 25 lap main. Here tonight on the opening night of the fifth annual Lucas Oil Late Model Knoxville Nationals. Presented by Super Clean. We are underway again. Matt Lux will grab the lead in the 21 car to turn number two. Wayne Chin picks it up. Three wheels out of turn number two. Eckridge runs in third. Scott James goes to fourth. Jimmy Mars works his way up through there as well. In the Mars car, 28 car. Lap one, it's Pennsylvania's Matt Lux with the lead. Jimmy Mars around Scott James. That's for fourth. Jimmy Mars in that Chris and Jimmy Mars, Mars car, Deputy Enterprises, number 20 with Pro Power now, takes a peek on the inside of Dave Eckridge, and he'll make the move, and Jimmy Mars up to third now. Jimmy Mars now on the move in the 28 car. Earl Pearson Jr. and Scott James wheel to wheel into one. Two laps in the books, down the back straight away. It is all Matt Lutz with the lead. In that old tournament's rocket chassis. Out at turn four, Wayne Jim running in second. Jimmy Mars is third. Good race for fourth. Hanging right in there. And Dave Eckridge with the, with the advantage over Scott James and Earl Pearson Jr. now. Out at turn number two, Stewart works on the outside. Here comes Stewart, slips up out of the groove now. He'll lose some spots now to Dave Eckridge. Now and Eckridge closes by him. Four seconds spot, side to side, down the straightaway. And shit, that was close. They might have barely touched. Mars has the momentum of the top group, and Jimmy Mars is going to go to second at 28. And meanwhile, Pearson all over Chen. The two Lucas Oil 8 Monitor Series regulars, Wayne Chen and Earl Pearson Jr. battling for third and fourth. Fifth run, Scott James. Sixth is Tony Stewart. Seventh is Eckridge. Eighth is Eckert. Five down, seven to go. Earl Pearson Jr., that Bobby Labonte racing master's bill now hits on the inside of Chin. They go side to side, and Pearson tries it. And Earl Pearson Jr. will take the third spot from Wayne Chin. Six down, six to go. Meanwhile, Matt Lux now has his lead chopped down. Here comes Jimmy Mars. Jimmy Mars, he's a late model winner here a couple of years ago in the 28 car. He has Pearson behind him. Matt Lux hanging on. Two car lengths to lead it at turn number one. Five to go now. Jimmy Mars on the outside. Lux shuts the door now. Down the back straight away. Here comes EPJ now. Pearson behind the first two of Lux and Jimmy Mars up at turn number four. Who's it gonna be? The laps winding down at heat number one. Now they're gonna get behind the 44 of Alonzo Grossi at turn number two. Meanwhile, Matt Lux and now Pearson has the top side working now. Down the back straight away. And Pearson has to hit the binders as he moves behind Mars now. The first three all together on the turn number four. Matt Lux, Jimmy Mars, and Earl Pearson Jr. to one. Then it's Jim. Tony Stewart runs in fourth now. And then it's Scott James. Here comes Stewart on the inside. Stewart and Chin go down the back straight away. Meanwhile, Scott James with a nifty move on the inside. And Scott James back around Stewart. And Stewart's going to go to the outside now for second. Pearson's got second. Mars is in front, side to side. And they touch. Stewart and Chin and Tony Stewart is coming to the back. He is up the fourth spot now. In the mass post shops, rocket number 20 now. As they enter the turn number three up the four. It's going to be the white flag. Here they go to Wisconsin, Jimmy Myers. Pearson second. Lux is third. Stewart is fourth. Fifth is Chin. Sixth record. Seventh is Scott James. Down the back straightaway. Final lap here in heat number one. 
the TL Sims plumbing. Kia Chevy Town number 28. Jimmy Mars is going to win heat number one. Earl Pearson Jr. second. Third is Matt Lux. Fourth is Tony Stewart. Outside the owner of 18 feature wins in 2008, the 21 out of Batesville, Arkansas, it's Billy Moyer. And on the back of 3C, it is Chris Schroeder. There's your lineup. E2, the top four, go to the 25 lap A main here tonight on the opening night of the fifth annual Lucas Oil Lake Model Knoxville Nationals presented by Super Clean. Kurt Martinette, Masters Bill of the Inside, meanwhile Schrader slips out of the group. Here comes Justin Peggers, they're three wide for a second down the back straight away, Berkey on the outside. Here comes Brian Burkhoff for that Mars car, pro-powered 15B, out of turn number four. Burkhoffer will lead lap number one. Mitch Johnson runs in second as they head down the back straightaway. Third is Matt Auckland. Here comes Justin Fagers. And meanwhile, we got problems in turn two for Shannon Babb. Shannon Babb slows on the back straightaway. And then Traeger, number 18, cars. He heads into turn number three. And the yellow will come out. So Shannon Babb and that Traeger wood pellet grills. Clemens powered rocket in Pal SS. The 2005 Lucas Oil Lake Model Knoxville Nationals champion out in front here in heat number two. We're back underway. Matt Auckland runs in second, Miss Johnson. How about Justin Fagers moving up on that top group? And Justin Fagers powers to third. Down the back straight away. The F-15 on the road, and here comes Brady Smith. Brady Smith, that Amsoil Bloomquist car, he's up the fourth. Out at turn four now. Down the straightaway. Brady Smith trying to pick up where he left off a year ago. And Brady Smith is going to go to third as Auckland got out of the groove. But down the back straight away, it's Brian Burkhoff with a good lead right now. About eight car lengths the lead. Justin Fager second, Brady Smith is third. Matt Auckland trying to hang on for fourth. And here comes Billy Moyer. Billy Moyer, that J and J still and Billy Moyer going to go to fourth. Billy Moyer leading the nation this year with 18 feature wins now as he gets it up down the back straight away down. He'll try to catch the first three. Burkhofer got out of the groove and here comes Justin Fakers. And Justin Fakers closes on Berkey in the one. And Fakers jumps the cushion. He about bit the, the guardrail in turn two. Brady Smith all over him. Billy Moyer runs in for it. Fifth place is Auckland. Sixth is Josh Richards. Seventh is Ken Schrader. With the lead, it's still Brian Burkhofer. That golf L transport co power car no one. Six down, six to go. It is a fast, well prepared track here tonight in Knoxville. They are hauling the mail up to 850 horsepower. These dirt late models out of turn number four. Justin Fakers trying to show Burkhofer again the nose of his car to turn number one. Brady Smith, Billy Moyer, your top four. Richards is fifth. Sixth is Auckland. Seventh is Kerry Hansen. Meanwhile, they close on the car. They're about to put a lap down, and Fagers is all over Burkhofer out of turn number four. Burkhofer takes the inside route as they go around. Chris Schroeder into one, and Fagers barely made it around him. Justin Fagers on the outside for the lead. Down the back straight away, they're side by side. And give the lead to Justin Fagers, and Burkhofer smoke out of the 15B. Oh my goodness, Brian Burkhofer. Something let go in the 15B. We got a car up against the wall at turn number four. Coming up at turn number four, and he's going to stop with a caution. Flag is out. And we're back underway. Three to go. Justin Fagers with the lead. Brady Smith is going to go to the inside now. And Moyer, Richards, Hanson trying to get in the show down the back straight away. The top four with a 25 lap here tonight in Knoxville. And meanwhile, Brady Smith takes the inside. Here comes Billy Moyer on the outside. Moyer on a move. And Moyer. And going out of his Richards and Moyer. Josh Richards had the outside. Moyer shut the door on him. Now they turn two down the back straight away. Now Brady Smith gets out of the group and Billy Moyer is going to go to second place. Billy Moyer with a move on Brady Smith now. Billy Moyer started in 12. One lap to go. Can he catch Justin Fakers? 
Brayton's been firm. We got a call upside down. Kerry Hanson into the wall. Upside down to the main. Straight away, the red flag is out. So Kerry Hansen goes tumbling down the front straightaway here at Knoxville. And we'll check him out, make sure he's okay in that Slipper Calf Ranch's rocket chassis, the Spencer, Wisconsin veteran. Two laps to go, Justin Fagers on the point. He came from the A starting spot to take the lead. Here we go. He'll have Moyer and Brady Smith behind him into turn number one. Boyer holding off Smith, Richards now holding off Babb down the back straightaway. The top four to the A-Main here tonight. Justin Fagers, he'll enter the white flag. Billy Moyer trying the inside of the turn number four. Down the straightaway, Moyer, they're dead even at the line. Too close to call in the one the final lap. Justin Fagers trying to come to the East, Tonic's spot to win the second heat. Billy Moyer second, Brady Smith third, Josh Richards still runs in fourth, final time for Moyer, but Justin Fagers is gonna come from eighth to win eight number two here tonight in Knoxville. Moyer second, Smith third, fourth, Josh Richards, fifth, Shannon Babb. The 32 D out of Chadwick, Illinois, it's Darren Miller, and in the seven, out of Waterville, Ohio, it's Matt Miller. So the top four go to the 25 lap A main here tonight for the fifth annual Lucas Oil Late Model Knoxville Nationals trying to gain as many points as they can tonight or tomorrow night to make the starting grid for Saturday night's 40,000 to win. They're trying to go four wide into one. Hang on, here comes Jacobson. Eric Jacobson and we're gonna have a restart. The caution is that we got a big pile up at two. The caution flag had come out, and Owens over there involved. Looks like Jay Johnson on the pole. On the outside, Ricky Frankel, the Quincy, Illinois driver, out of turn number four. We are back underway here in E3 in Knoxville. And Terry Casey, they'd already ran the Motorsports Rayburn on the inside. He'll take third down the back straightaway. Bell falls to fourth, and here comes Jimmy Owens. And out of turn number four for the lead, Eric Jacobson out of turn number four, the California driver out in front here in Iowa. Frankel in second, Terry Casey on the inside. And Terry Casey, three Lucas Oil Series wins this year. He's in the second, and they go three wide down the back straight away. Hang on, here comes Jimmy Eckridge, the flying 50 up to it. Out of turn number four, meanwhile, look at Darren Miller. Darren Miller's gonna slide in the fourth. Darren Miller, that ideal ready, Nick McLaughlin, point lines, Moyer, victory circle, Bell gets out of shape, and Darren Miller will take third, Eckridge goes to fourth. That's Demi Eckridge down. In the precision performance number 50 now. Eckridge up to fourth, up front, it's Jacobson, and Terry Casey runs in second. In turn number two, it's a good battle back there for third, Darren Miller, but it's Denny Eckridge and Jimmy Owens, Rich Bell out of shape again and lose two more spots. Up front, it is Harry Jacobson, the VP Racing Fields, Bloomquist race cars, and three and one. A four down, eight to go. Right now, Terry Casey. Terry Casey, the first time he'd a runner in Knoxville was a year ago when he made the Lucas Oil Lake Model Knoxville Nationals. Meanwhile, he closes the gap on Jacobson at turn number one. Darren Miller third, Denny Eckery fourth, and you have Jimmy Owens and Matt Miller for position. I give the top four out of this to the 25 lap A main here tonight at Knoxville. Meanwhile, Jacobson rides the berm out of turn four. Casey tries to catch him down the main straightaway. Second spot is Terry Casey now as he tries to hang on. Meanwhile, Smoke coming out of the five car. Down the back straightaway. Smoke out of the five of Jacobson is Casey. And here comes Darren Miller closing the gap now. Darren Miller makes it a three-car race for the lead in a turn number one. Darren Miller, that 32D car, he started in the 11th spot down the back straightaway. The big winner at Florence Speedway, the 50,000 win, Sunoco race fields north south winner. Meanwhile, Terry Casey drives the inside on Jacobson out of four. You see the damage on the right rear corner panel of Terry Casey, meanwhile, Smoke continues to come out of the five of Eric Jacobson down the back straightaway. 
Jimmy Owens, and Jimmy Owens, something let go of the 20 car. The Reeks Monuments Bloomquist Ford of Jimmy Owens, something let go in the 20 car, coming off at turn number two. He will not finish. Heat number three here tonight at Knoxville Raceway. Folks, they are turning the RPMs here tonight. Meanwhile, Darren Miller on the gas on the top group. Miller cannot make the pass on Casey. Two to go. Eric Jacobson out of turn number two, down the back straightaway, still holds the lead now. Over Terry Casey, Darren Miller is third, Matt Miller is now fourth. White flag, it is gonna go to Eric Jacobson. And there goes his motor. Eric Jacobson to let go. It's been threatening to do so the last few laps and it is gone, Eric Jacobson. Up in a puff of smoke and a ball of fire at turn number two. Meanwhile, Denny Eckridge is going to go to fourth up at turn four. Terry Casey is going to win. Darren Miller second. Matt Miller is third. And Denny Eckridge is going to finish in fourth. The 23 of John Blankenship, the 3S of Brian Shirley. 39 is Tim McCready. Then it's the 56X, that is Chris Speaker. 29, Darrell Lanigan. And again, the 95 of Ed Sanger is elected to start on the tail. Four laps, four heat, hello there, fourth heat. It's been a long night, folks, fourth heat. The top four go to the A main, or to Dunn and Knoxville. We're underway, the green is out. And they come out of turn number two down the back, threaded with the 06. And meanwhile, problems for Paul Glenn Meanwhile, the 06 winner here, Brian Shirley trying to make his way through some heavy traffic off of turn number four. It's Oregon's John Duty out in front. Jason under second, Brian Harris runs in third, Blanket Jim is fourth. Here comes the 32 of Chris Simpson down the back straight away, and he jumps the cushion, and his brother Chad goes around him. And meanwhile, they're three wide as Lanigan and McCready trying to go three wide with Chris Simpson up the four. Two laps in the books. It's John Duty now, gets a little slipping and sliding out of turn number two. Jason Utter's gonna take the lead. Jason Utter, the WDRL Rookie of the Year a couple of seasons ago at a Columbus Junction, Iowa, is your new leader here at heat number four in Knoxville. Duty second, third is Blankenship, fourth is Lanigan. Darrell Lanigan on the move now. Darrell Lanigan started in the back of the 29. Down the back straightaway, that Fusion Energy rocket now. All over Blankenship now. They go side to side as they're trying to get around Oregon's John Duty. Out at turn number four, and Blankenship will make the move. He goes to second. Four down, eight to go. John Blankenship now, Duty again. Losing traction at a two to Lanigan. will sweep by him, will take third, and here comes McCready. Tim McCready, the sweeteners plus rock now. And McCready will go around duty and he'll move into the fourth spot. Down the back straight away. It is all Jason Utter with the lead now. John Blankenship second, Darrell Lanigan third. Tim McCready runs in fourth. Laps winding down, six down, six to go halfway here at E4. Turn two down the back straight away. Jason Ed looking good. Former crew chief for Brian Burkhofer. Jason Utter down the front straight away here at Knoxville. In control of heat number four to turn number one. Darrell Lanigan working the inside now. Blankenship out at two. Blankenship still has it a lane. Now here comes Lanigan up on the left rear quarter panel into turn number three now. Lanigan, he'll try it on the inside now. McCready tries to make it a three car battle. They do off a of four. Lanigan in the strike. I have the car link. Lanigan moves in a second with four to go. Darrell Lanigan, Colonel World of Outlaw Lake Model Series points leader down the back straight away. But Jason Utter's got a big lead right now in 31. He'll be hard to catch with three to go. Meanwhile, McCready now works the inside. In at turn number one, here comes McCready. The topless one under to Jackson, one under winner on the inside, and Tim McCready will take third down the back straight away. So Darrell Lanigan and Tim McCready started in row number six. They're running second and third right now. But Jason Utter, he's got two to go.
Looks good now as Lanigan is going to make up some time. He's around Glenn Denning, but he's going to run out of time and laps here at Knoxville, giving the white flag. Jason Utter, one to go. Darrell Lanigan, he won here at Knoxville a last year in the World of Outlaw Race. Down the back straight away. Final time around here in ED number four. Lanigan's going to make up some time, but Jason Utter is going to win heat number four here at Knoxville Raceway. Lanigan second, McCready third, fourth will be John Blankenship. Jeff Ike, of course, longtime veteran here in the Hawkeye State, but when you look at Carrier and Van Wormer and Bloomquist and Francis and Moran out there, in this heat race, you got to get in the top four to make it. There'll be a C and a B to follow for the late models. Jerry Bagby Jr. and Jeff Ike leading the line. We're underway here at heat number five. Oh, and Donnie Moran is upside down in turn number one. The red is out. As Bagby and Smizer got together and Smizer hit the guardrail head on in a one. And Donnie Moran had nowhere to go and became involved and ends up on his top. Smizer, Chris Smizer out of his car. Back underway in heat number five. Eddie Carrier Jr. is going to move to third. I can lay down the back straight away now. You've got some fast cars coming to the back. Carrier Bloomquist, Van Warmer Francis now off the of turn number four. Lap number one. It's Jeff Ike out in front for off second. Carrier third, Bloomquist fourth. And Bloomquist moves to the outside around Carrier, and here comes Francis now. Steve Francis now up to fourth now in the 19 car, as they are all over Nick Moroff. Meanwhile, extending the lead, it's the veteran Jeff Ike out in front. Out of turn number two, Moroff moves up in the group. Bloomquist has to hit the binders, and Francis will take advantage of that, and Francis will go to third. Steve Francis now around Scott Bloomquist. And meanwhile, moving into the fifth spot, it is going to be Chief Van Warmer. Now Francis now is Moroff, digs into turn number two, down the back straight away. Francis, he'll take the reliable painting rocket, GTO to second now. Meanwhile, Jeff Ike extends that lead out now, big lead right now, as he comes up on turn number four to click off another lap. Jeff Ike continues to lead. Francis tries to reel him in, and that Cornet powered rocket down the straightaway. Here comes Francis. Bloomquist. And we got a car spinning on the back straightaway. And trying to make it off the racetrack. Yep, now he's firing back into the pits. Meanwhile, Francis, all over your leader, Jeff Ike, got a turn number four now. As they come up on six down, six to go here at eight number five and a one. Bloomquist third, fourth is Carrier, fifth is Van Warmer. For the lead, Steve Francis on the inside, down the back straight away. They're half a car length, the lead for Francis on Ike, and Francis will take the lead. Here comes Bloomquist now, Bloomquist, that Miller Brothers, Cole Hawkeye trucking, Bloomquist, Chevrolet, and Bloomquist to go around, Ike takes second now. From Jeff Ike, here comes Eddie Carrier Jr. now. He's climbed up the fourth, Van Warmer still fifth, McLaughlin a sixth, down the back straight away. Out of turn number four, down the straightaway, Bloomquist jumps the cushion. That'll cost him as Francis pulls away into turn number one with four to go. Carrier now, a level right key. In turn number two, Eddie Carrier Jr., the Grover Motorsports Rocket Four down the back straightaway. Hey, he has a run on Jeff Mikey. That is for third spot now. Got to be careful here. They are in a transverse spot. There are several car lengths out of Jeep Van, one running in fifth, three to go. 
Now France has a move on the back of Ron Smith down the back straight away. Here comes Scott Blundquist. He lurks in second. Blundquist is going to take the outside. In traffic, Francis behind Smith. Blundquist to the inside. Francis hanging on for dear left for the lead in the one. They're side by side. Two of the best in the business. Scott Blundquist beat Francis out of two. And Blundquist is going to take the lead. As Francis got pinned behind the slower car of Rod Smith, Bloomquist out in front. Here comes the white flag, one to go for the Boss of Team Zero. Down the back straight away. It is all Scott Bloomquist right now, that Big Hill Power Plant out at turn number two. He is going to win. Heat number five here tonight at Knoxville. Steve Francis second. Jeff Mikey, a good run, third, fourth is Eddie Carrier Jr. So it'll be Brian Harris, the 21H car on the pole. Outside will be Chris Speaker in the 56X. Then row two, it's Kurt Martin in 45, Junior Coover in the 10, Jill George in 22, Mitch Johnson in the double zero, Ed Sanger in the 95, Kurt Martin in 45, and we're underway. Brian Harris down the back straight with the lead speaker, jumps the cushion, rings it back down, Coover runs in third. Here comes Kurt Martin on the inside in 45. In the top four, go to the B main off the of turn four. Oh, Kurt Martin into the inside. Guardrail in the yellow and the red is out. Speaker of the lead as we're working lap number one here in the C main. The B main is coming up next for the late models. Brian Harris runs in second off the turn number four. Down the back straight away there didn't even. It's Speaker and Brian Harris works the outside. Remember the top four advance the rest are done for the night off the turn four. And Brian Harris is going to take the lead. Speaker second, Bell third, Cooper is fourth. Mitch Johnson calls it out in the double zero. Who is the three C of Chris Schroeder as he goes to the infield out of the race. Transponders are one lap ahead. Out of 
turn two down the back straightaway. It's all Brian Harris, Chris Speaker second. Third is Rich Bell, fourth is Paul Glendinney. Final lap, Brian Harris leads him into turn number three. As he'll work his way out of turn number four, around the half mile here at Knoxville Raceway, and Brian Harris will go to the B main as he wins the C. Second will be the 56X of Chris Speaker. Third spot will be the 21B of Rich Bell. Fourth will be Paul Glendening in 33. It'll be Shannon Babb on the pole, Rick Eckert alongside, that is Jeep Van Warmer and Boo McLaughlin. 20 laps, the top four to the A main, the final preliminary of the night for the late models. Trying to get in here on night number one in Knoxville, we're underway. Out of turn two, about to flee down the back straightaway, they're side to side. Shannon Babb and the Clint Boyer rocket, Rick Eckert, the Ray Best GRT, Babb will take the lead. Van Warmer runs in third, McLaughlin fourth, Scott James is fifth, off the turn number four, one lap in the books. Out of turn number four, it is still Shannon Babb showing the way. Meanwhile, Eddie Kirchhoff around Scott James. Gene Van Warmer hanging on to third right now. The Bayline Fire and Protection Masters, Bill McLaughlin. And you have back there Brian Shirley trying to move up. So is Chris Simpson in 32. Now Scott James picks up the pace and Scott James will go back into fourth. He jumps up two spots on that last lap from sixth to fourth around McLaughlin and Kirchhoff. And meanwhile, off the turn number four already in the one, Shannon Bam with the lead. Eckert second, Van Warmer third, James is fourth, McLaughlin fifth, sixth is Kirchhoff, seventh is Brian Shirley, eighth is Kenny Schrader. And we got a flat tire, looks like on the 56 car. He goes to the infield, maybe not, but he's out of the race anyhow. Scott, Chris Speaker. Got a car slow on the track in turn number four. Six laps in the books here in the B main. Again, the top four go to the big show here tonight. It's Sheen and Bap, Rick Ecker, Deep Van Warmer, Scott James down the back straight away. Rod Smith calls it an out in the E1. And we got another car slow in turn number three. Looks like Wayne Chin down in the one car. Wayne Chin will not make the feature here tonight. Shannon Bam, that Clint Boyer racing rocket chassis in the turn number one. A huge lead right now as he'll pick up the tail end of the field down the back straightaway. Rick Eckert, a solid run right now in second. And then you have Van Warmer. And meanwhile, Scott James has competition for the fourth spot. Boone McLaughlin back in there in the 14 car. Here comes Boone McLaughlin now, trying to get that final transfer spot down the straightaway. They're side by side. 83 and 14, Scott James and Boone McLaughlin. They close on Chief Van Warmer now. Out of turn two down the back straightaway. The caution. Flag has come out. Dave Etheridge in the 58 and the 33 of Quincy, Illinois driver Ricky Frankel in turn four. Daniel Lucas Oil, late model Knoxville Nationals presented by Super Clean. And we're back underway. Here comes Brian Shirley now. Brian Shirley, the 06 winner of the big show here. Down the back straight away. Look out. 
McLaughlin pinched up against the backstretch guardrail. They're three wide, battling it out for third. Meanwhile, McLaughlin flying up top, and he is cleared. Scott James barely in one. Off a turn two down the back straight away. It's all Shannon Bath. He says goodbye. Well out in front now. Rick Eckert hanging on there. The Knicks fan warmer McLaughlin now hard in the four. Scott James on the inside. Out of turn four. They're side by side. McLaughlin that time half a car length with 11 in the books. Fourth and final spot up for grabs. The 14 of Boone McLaughlin, the 83 of Scott James. Matt Auckland calls it out of the 12A car. Good competitive race. Scott James on the inside, and they're rubbing. Rubbing is racing, Paul Fletcher, in the one. And here comes Brian Shirley, works the top of that Petrov towing rocket now. Brian Shirley back in the hunt now, as he'll try to get to the top four now. Off the turn for McLaughlin, doing a good job in that 14 car. Van Warmer has problems negotiating turn two, slips a little bit. Meanwhile, maintains that spot. Shannon Bath well out in front now in the 18 car. He has a straightaway lead over the 24 of Rick Eckert. And the caution is that we got a car up against the wall in turn four. Nick Moroff. Shannon Babb in the Clint Boyer number 18 on the turn number four. Six laps remaining in the B main to determine who's going to go to the A to finish out the last three rows. And it's a tussle in the one McLaughlin, James, and Shirley. Meanwhile, Van Warmer on the inside of Eckert took a stab at second. Eckert hangs on. Here comes Chad Simpson. Chad Simpson, the current WDRL points leader now. In the thick of things, they're three wide for third. Hang on, guys. Scott James back in the fourth and that Powell Motorsports Baylor trucking rocket at a turn two. Down the back straight away, Scott James has a run on Chief Van Warmer and Scott James is going to take the third spot as they come out of turn number four. Got to get going now if you're going to make it tonight. McLaughlin, Shirley, Schrader, Simpson. Four to go. Here comes Kenny Schrader, that Red Baron pizza. Rocking now, meanwhile, Chad Simpson works the inside in 25. Right now, Van Warmer on the hot seat in fourth right now in the 55 car. Problems for Chad Simpson on the back right away, the 25 car off the pace. Chad Simpson was given a good run here in the last few laps, but it looks like he's not going to make it back around as the laps are winding down here. And Chad Simpson, the yellow flag, is going to come out. So Shannon Babb will lead him off in turn number four, the two-time dirt track world champion. He'll take the green restart. Here comes Brian Shirley, that Petrov toy rocket on the outside. And Shirley's going to get fourth from Van Warmer. And here comes Boone McLaughlin down the back straight away. Fourth place is a point of interest right now as they'll take the white flag for Babb. Scott James is running in second now. He's gotten around Eckerd. Fourth is Brian Shirley. And McLaughlin back around him. Hang on, Boone McLaughlin down the back straight away. Van Warmer's on it down the back straight away. And here comes Kenny Schrader. Oh, baby, four spot. Here they come. Babb's going to win. Scott James, second, Eckert, third, fourth. This Boone McLaughlin. Then it's Darren Miller and Tim McCready, Steve Francis, Jimmy Mars, Brady Smith, Denny Eckridge, John Blankenship, Scott Bloomquist, Justin Fakers, Terry Casey, Eddie Carrier Jr., Jason Hunter, Jeff Ike, Matt Lux, and then it's Shannon Babb and Scott James. And in the back, Rick Eckert and Boone McLaughlin. So Earl Pearson Jr. and Billy Moyer. 
Will one of those come out on top tonight or will somebody come to the back? We'll see you tonight. 25 laps and we're underway at Knoxville. Good start by Moyer in the one. He got the jump on Pierce of Clements, Power 21 down the back straight with the lead. Lanigan will follow on the outside. Lanigan and Pearson wheel the wheel to turn number three. That is for second. Fourth is for Richards. Fifth is Matt Miller now. Josh Richards in the thick of things here on the main straightaway. There are three wide. Lanigan out for second. And Lanigan will take second. Pearson third. Richards fourth. McCready fifth. Sixth is Miller. Seventh is Darren Miller. Eighth is Tony Stewart off the turn number four. Still showing the way. It's Billy Moyer. Billy Moyer, 18 feature wins, leads the country in 2008. Right now, Josh Richards closing on the second place car of Darrell Lanning and down the main straightaway. Pearson trying to hold on with Greedy, then it's Miller, Miller, and Stewart. And we got a car down on the back straightaway. And Brady Smith back on the gas. He got up against the guardrail on the back straightaway. And he lost at least two spots. Brady Smith and that Amsoil. Bloomquist number two car. Back on the pace now, but meanwhile, Moyer, it's about a six-car length lead over Lane again. Richards third, Pearson fourth, McCready is still fifth. Matt Miller now getting on his number seven on the accelerator down the main straightaway. Closes on McCready, then it's Darren Miller, Tony Stewart, Jimmy Mars, and then Steve Francis. Jeff Ike now slows in the 77 car. Jeff Ike off the pace. He'll go a lap down. Billy Moyer now. Lanigan has put that lead down now. Darrell Lanigan, it's within two car lengths and they jump the cushion out. Here comes Darrell Lanigan on the inside of the 29. He's got the corner. They're side by side. Lanigan takes the lead. Darrell Lanigan takes the lead. With seven laps in the books down the back straightaway. In that rocket forward, into turn number three, Moyer back to second. Richards now has a run on Moyer for second now. Off at of turn number four, Pearson maintains fourth, McCready is fifth. Now Darrell Lanigan puts a lap on Pennsylvania's Matt Lux. Moyer will follow around now. Into turn number three, it's three car links to get advantage. Four, 38-year-old Darrell Lanigan out of turn number four now. Good race to lead all three cars here together. Lanigan, Moyer, and Richards at the line. Nine laps in the books now. Richards are trying the inside. Puff a smoke out of Billy Moyer's car. We've seen that quite a bit here tonight. Billy Moyer, how much longer will he last? And it pours out of the car as he comes off at turn number four now. Down the straightaway, still running in second place. And it let go. In turn number one, the caution is out for Billy Moyer. The line as we begin again here in the A main with 10 laps scored. McCready takes a peek on the inside of Pearson again. Keep an eye on 39 car. Darren Miller's going to slide to the inside. I get the bottom. Down the back straight away, the Millers are at it side by side. And Darren Miller's gonna go to fifth now in 32D. Darren Miller, hugging the low groove out of turn number four. He's trying to get McCready now. And he clears Matt Miller. Down the back straight away, Lanigan, Richards, Pearson maintain the top three, McCready in fourth. Then it's Darren Miller in fifth. Sixth is still Matt Miller. Tony Stewart runs in seventh, then it's Mars. And Terry Casey has moved up now in the 42 car. Earl Pearson Jr., he may have something leaking out of that car as he had some smoke in the 44. But Bobby Labonte entry now. As McCready is all over him. Pearson now to the inside of the track and Pearson is gonna be, well he slowed down and McCready goes around him. Pearson loses traction in turn number four. As his car is going away, Earl Pearson Jr. may be in trouble. Meanwhile, Terry Casey in trouble here on the main straightaway. Terry Casey, who had climbed into the top 10, off the pace, out of the race to the infield. 
Meanwhile, the race for lead continues as Lanning and Richards are pulled away for the rest of the field. McCready now in third. Darren Miller fourth. Pearson continues to slide back as he and Matt Miller go side by side down the back straight away. Now Stewart to the outside of Pearson. Tony Stewart, that fast bow shot rocket as Pearson's going to lose another spot. Down the back straightaway. Meanwhile, good race for Lee. Darrell Lanigan and Josh Richards down the main straightaway in Knoxville. Nine laps to go. Darrell Lanigan trying to win his second ever race here in Knoxville. Now stretches out now to about a five, six car length lead into turn number three. Tim McCready still runs in third, Darren Miller fourth, Matt Miller fifth, Stewart is sixth, seventh is Mars, eighth Pearson, ninth Francis, tenth runs to the Eckridge. So obviously Pearson is something wrong, got a spin in turn number four, right in the middle of the racetrack. And the leaders fast approaching off the accelerator. Caution is out with eight to go. Presented by Super Clean Work, back underway. Down the back straightaway, Darren Miller back up into the tall top group now in front of Matt Miller. Out at turn number four, Josh Richards takes a look on the inside of the turn four. Landing into a lead with seven to go. McCready now. The endless 39 of Pro Power, Swedish Plus car. Out at turn two, Darren Miller there. But down the back straight away, landing into Richards. They'll pull away from McCready and the Millers. Now Richards on the end. Slight job, Josh Richards for the lead. He's got him. Landing in a battle back down the front straight away. Richards in front. That looked like the heat race at Eldora, Paul Fletcher, when they ran. Duke it out, back and forth in their heat race. Richards in landing and out of turn number four. And Josh Richards pulls away at Knoxville. Down the back straight away out of turn two. You gotta keep it there. That top groove, it has got some moisture in it. It will fight you in a hurry. Out of turn number four, the Soymer Cap Ranch is number one. Josh Richards to the line. With the lead now, four car lengths. Lanigan, McCready, Darren Miller, Tony Stewart has climbed the fifth now. In the 20 car, down the back straightaway. Four to go, coming up on three to go. Richards now in command now. Out at turn number four, three to go for Kid Rocket of the line. Stewart now, closing on Darren Miller. Trying to gain some valuable points now. Stewart all over Darren Miller took a look, and Miller holds him off down the back straightaway. Two to go coming up for 20-year-old Josh Richards out of turn number four. At the line, they'll go white flag next time around. It's all rock at the first three. Josh Richards now to turn number four. Looking for his first winner at Knoxville Raceway. White flag is out, one to go. Lanigan second. McCready third, fourth is Darren Miller. Fifth runs Tony Stewart with the final lap here tonight. Looks good for Richards, landing in last chance. But that slide top lead is all he needed. And Josh Richards wins at Knoxville Raceway, takes the checkered flag. Darrell Lanigan second. Tim McCready third, Darren Miller fourth. Tony Stewart fifth. Sixth is Jimmy Mars. Seventh, Matt Miller. Eighth, Steve Francis. Ninth, Jimmy Eckridge. And tenth is Scott Bloomquist. comes to Knoxville Raceway, Victory Lane, the 20-year-old, the Soybert Cap Ranches, Rocket, out of Shinston, West Virginia. Let's hear it for your winner, Josh Richards. Oh, race fans.
<laughs> I might say it's a long time coming when it's been a year, but tonight it's been a long time coming. Josh, congratulations. What a fight out there. <laughs> Thanks. It, uh, it was a lot of fun. You know, we've, uh, we've been fast here in the past, and uh, to finally pull off a win here really means a lot. Talk about the race a little bit. I, I know it. Uh, Moyer stuck out there in front, and it's hard to catch him sometimes, but he ran to mechanical difficulty. That had to give you a little bit of hope there at the beginning of it. Yeah, a little bit. I felt really good. You know, early we were just kind of cruising, and we were right there with Darrell and uh, Moyer, and uh, it just seemed like the harder I ran, the faster we got. And uh, it's uh, just, you know, it was an awesome car, and hopefully we can keep it up for Saturday night. That last restart against Darrell, I mean, you hooked good down there in three and four. Yeah, it's, uh, I got a run on him in one and two and got my momentum built up, and I was able to, you know, pull down in three and four and get by him. So it's uh, it was an awesome race. I have to thank all the guys that came with us this weekend. Uh, my dad, Mark Richards, Steve Baker, Jimmy Fry, Matt Barnes, uh, Rich Hart, my uncle Robbie Scott, uh, Brian Doherty with Integra Shocks. It's, uh, it's been an awesome year, and uh, it's nice to win here in Knoxville. Josh, we always look at Saturday night. Saturday night, of course, the longer part of the race. Did you learn anything out there tonight at all, or is it all a brand-new game? Uh, we learned a little bit of stuff. These shocks are a little bit different, and, uh, you know, hopefully we got something for Saturday night, but uh, we'll experiment a little bit again tomorrow, and hopefully we'll be up here again. All right, congratulations. All right, thank you. He picks up night number one. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Josh Richards. Here we go.